Last week, I had a vote on my Facebook page, and the most popular request was that dude from Assassin's Creed. So I'm going to teach you how to draw him, and I'm going to make it easy, yo. My step-by-step -step tutorials teach aspiring artists how to observe by modeling how to break complex images down into simple shapes. Millions of people have watched my videos, and tens of thousands have successfully completed my tutorials. Guess what? You're next. Grab a pencil and some drawing paper for the first part. The step-by-step -step instruction will be followed by an illustration tutorial, which will show you how to add color. Let's begin. Step 1. Add a line across the paper slightly lower than the halfway point. Step 2. Add the triangle and the rectangle. Notice that both of these shapes are equal in height. If you're a baseball fan, notice that it looks like home plate. Step 3. Make the two symmetrical triangles. Step 4. Add the letter Y between the two triangles. Step 5. Connect the two triangles with the letter M. Step 6. Give him a beanie. Step 7. Add the three shapes that I just added. Step 8. Ezio looks angry. Give him a murder weapon. Step 9. Give him a seat belt and a cool shoulder thingy. Step 10. Put a cape under the cool shoulder thingy. Step 11. Give him legs. Notice how symmetrical his uniform is. Step 12. Fix the hand shape. Step 12. That's a fancy cummerbund. Add as many shapes as you can within the triangle shape from step 1. Step 14. Add the shape for the face and give him a goatee. Step 15. Make the nose and the mouth shape. Everything else will be in full shadow. Hey, welcome to the illustration tutorial and I'm going to show you how I added color to this. Um, there's many ways that you can do this. You don't even have to add color. Um, I've done tons of tutorials on how to use pencil and you can definitely use pencil rather than color uh, if you don't have markers. Um, all you have to do is uh, use the reference image uh, that's over to the left um, or of course find another one uh, on the internet. Um, it's pretty easy to find uh, and you know then you can just do cross hatching. But I'm using markers and I've done a ton of tutorials on how to use pencil already and um, you know this I am using uh, gray markers for tones and if you notice I start out with these gray markers and they're labeled 1 through 10 uh, and I actually have two sets that are very different. I have Prismacolor uh, and I have um, Ed Chart Pack markers and uh, the Ed Chart Pack are basically full of color, uh, well not color, they're full of uh, ink um, and they are uh, really powerful. They bleed quite a bit. Um, the Prismacolor ones are a little bit easier to control, but I like adding both. I like using both um, because, uh, you know, it gives you like the ability, uh, the Ed Chart Pack gives you the ability to really add a layer of color, uh, whereas the Prismacolor ones you're very precise with. So, you know, they work together really well. Um, I am working from a reference image on this, and I'm developing it slowly. Um, the color red is really brought out by the color gray. And when you put it down in marker form, it is as bright as it can be. And if you want to dull the color, which I definitely did, uh, I put a layer of uh, gray over it. Um, I think it was Cool Gray 4 uh, that I started with. Uh, and then, uh, after that, I can add more um, or uh, you're going to see me use colored pencils later. I can put a layer of colored pencil if I want to really have some high chroma areas that really pop out. 
because when you use grays, um, it really will bring out the colors around it. It's almost like um, if you're in a, a colorful place, um, say like Las Vegas, uh, you don't really see like the neon, you know, that's out there uh, or well, you do, but you don't see any specific signs. Um, you know, whereas if you're on a dark street and you see neon, uh, a neon sign, that's really going to stand out. So thinking about that as you add color, um, you really want some of the reds to pop, um, and you want to use the grays uh, to do that. For detail, I'm using just a regular pen. Um, you know, my Micron pen ran out of ink. You might have seen it very shortly uh, in that, but I'm just using a regular ink pen uh, for outlines, and, um, you know, I realize he is a... Uh, a video game character, and a lot of the reference images were drawn. So, um, most of you have seen the step by step videos that I do on my channel, and uh, I usually don't put an outline, but for this one, um, I definitely did. Going into these darker areas and, um, you know, the metallic areas, uh, you want a lot of variants. Uh, you want uh, some whites, you want some uh, darker areas. Um, if you notice, there's a, a bird that's going on in there, eagle, I suppose, um, you know, in flight and, you know, landing on that uh, triangle. Might be a Knights uh, Templar uh, reference. Um, I, I think that it is. Um, although I think he, I, I don't know, I do too much wee bowling. <laughs> I, I don't know the entire plot of this game. I read a little bit about it. But anyway, back to the instruction. Um, yeah, I, uh, you know... I lost my train of thought, but I'll get it back quickly. Uh, with these markers, they're like watercolor paint, and you wind up layering uh, quite a bit. And, um, you know, it, it, you can make these complex colors because you can see through every layer. It's basically, um, if somebody's done painting, it's like glazing over glazing over glazing, and it makes these complex colors. And even if, it's, if you do digital work, um, if you lower the opacity um, on a color, uh, and do a layer, and then put another layer on top of it, you will see both colors. These markers work just like that. So, uh, if you notice, with the pa the face, I have, um, you know, some red. You're, you're barely going to see that red when I'm finished with it. And I'm sculpting the face uh, around it, um, adding layers. Look at all the layers that I just added in the past second. And you see a little bit of that pink that's left, but that's about it. Uh, he's not really a pink person. If you notice, his his uh, uh, flesh tones are really um, pale. And I'm going to go over that with the colored pencil. You're going to see me define the face a little bit more. Uh, but, yeah, his skin tones are pale and, you know, greenish and, like, you know, angry. Um, and you have this this red that's popping out on the uniform, and it makes, it, it makes the image a lot more uh, dramatic. So at this point, I am starting my second part with colored pencils. And, uh, you know, this, it, it gives me the ability to add another layer of depth. Um, if, instead of transparent layer on top of transparent layer, it's a, um, a semi-opaque layer on top of the transparencies. And it gives the color, you know, that much more depth. It darkens the darks, lightens the lights, allows you to edit a little bit, which is very difficult with markers. Um, I've heard people say that you have to be very precise to use markers. And... That's partially true, um, but with a little bit of creativity, um, you know, such as using the colored pencil over this, you don't have to be as precise. Uh, and as you can see, I'm tying everything together. Um, I'm doing the edges with that pen, and I'm putting the colored pencils on top. Um, if you're brand new at this, I recommend that you do this in pencil. Um, I don't recommend that you do colored pencils and markers. Um, you know, but... Um, you know, I hope that you eventually give this a try because it's a it's a really cool process to learn. Now that we're in the final minute, minute and a half, um, I want to talk to you on this uh, part that I'm working on now. Um, I went in with the uh, the super black, and uh, I basically put in uh, I put in a layer of that over uh, what I had done before, uh, and um, you know that's going to be the darkest part, other than the area underneath his hood. Um, you know, and I'm just basically looking for rough edges. Um, everything has to be smooth. Um, everything has to be shiny. This guy is, uh, you know, in a, uh, you know, quite the outfit there. And, uh, you know, you want him to look dangerous. So, you know, he's got to be a sharp dresser. Um, anyway, uh, that's about it for this. Um, 
yeah, just uh, remember, uh, if you have uh, any issues with this and you want to try uh, over, uh, just hit the link uh, that will uh, that'll take you back to, it, it's, it's called the, this is not a curse, uh, Futt Up tutorial. Um, it will teach you how to, um, how to get back to the end of the step-by-step. -step. You'll see what I mean when you hit that link, uh, but anyway, um, you know, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Um, if you get a second and you think uh, that this helped you, just um, hit the like button. Thanks for watching.